parables. Parables, again, are those stories, narratives in which Jesus teaches us about God, himself, us. Today we're talking about the parable of the ten virgins, the five wise and the five moronic. I'm not moronic, but foolish, right? But it comes from this word moria, which means foolish. They're the, the virgins that didn't pay attention. You have the ones who do pay attention. So this narrative is about the church. That's what Jesus is teaching us about the life of the church. They're all together. It's not like you have five over here and five way over there. They're all waiting for the bridegroom to come. Five are wise. They keep their lamps trimmed. They keep the oil there. Five are foolish and they don't. So then when the announcement comes in the middle of the night that the bridegroom is there, the five foolish, the moria ones, they go to buy, but it's too late. And the five wise ones go into the wedding feast and the doors are shut and they come and they bang, Lord, Lord, let us in. And he says, depart from me for I never knew you. Pretty harsh stuff, right? That's kind of why it's one of those last Sundays of the church year, those eschatological end times narratives. So Jesus is teaching us not just about the end times here, but about the nature of the church today. It's filled with people. Five wise, five foolish, wise and foolish people in the church. Are we in the church receiving the gifts, having the oil filled, being nourished in the preaching of the gospel? Not just one hour a week, but daily being in the word. Always ready for not just Jesus' second return, right, his coming again, but even our own death, being ready for that. Because we don't know when that hour is going to come. Knowing that we die in Christ knowing that Christ has overcome death for us and he lives for us? Or are we kind of just going along with life, not worrying about it? And then we're still worrying about something, but not the end. We're worried about the day-to-day, -day, worried about the world, concerning ourselves with those things. That's what it means to be foolish. It means that we don't care and concern ourselves with the things of Christ. The wise do that. We are soaking up the things of Christ, forgiveness, life, and salvation. Whereas the foolish just live for worldly desires, worldly pleasures, worldly wisdom even. That's foolish in the eyes of God because it doesn't last unto eternity. So let us learn from this story of Jesus what it means to be prepared, to await that second coming, to await our end is to await in the love of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, knowing that it's always there for us, like the shop's always being open, but knowing that the days are short and that abiding in Christ is the only joy we have here in time as we anticipate it unto eternity. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.